this world. But this world doesn't like me.
watch out. Are you awake? Hurry and get up. I have your clothes ready over there. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. You will need to do your best in training. It decides the qu- Hey, don't tell me you've forgotten already. How could you forget? Director Herzog said that whoever performs best today can leave this place and go to the capital to study. So you have to try your best. We promised we would see what lies on the other side of the ocean together. This is the card I made. You just need to sign it with your name. Your clothes are on that chair. Come out once you've changed. Zed should be waiting outside. My little Renata, you're looking so pretty today. What are you doing? Why isn't Z with you? What happened to her? Dr. Herzog, I'm just looking for some nice flowers that I can give you as a Christmas gift. The flowering season of the Arctic Rose has already passed. However, you have always found favor with Lady Luck. Keep looking, but remember not to neglect your training. One. If Director Herzog found out that Zed isn't up yet, he'd be in trouble again. I told him to get up. Why isn't he here yet? Oh well, I guess I'll have to wait for him a while longer. Stammer. I... I don't know either. Maybe... Maybe... Anton? Ah, oh, I wish I could go to the capital. I heard that people there live in tall buildings. They travel by car and eat chocolate with every meal. Really? That would be... It would be... So dreamy. By the way, I've got myself a date for Christmas. You'll have to find someone else. Huh? Well... Well then... Is he still lying on the bed? He appears to be no better, even after all the nutrients. <laughs> what a waste. If I had those nutrients, I could have reached Mr. Herzog's requirement long ago. Hey, didn't Mr. Herzog give you an extra dose yesterday? How do you feel now? Well, you'll see it with your own eyes. Let's go.
<sighs> Has the time come once again to go and beg for scraps like a hungry stray dog? Why don't you leave that to Anton? Nobody can tell me what to do. Not even the director himself. But today's training will determine who gets to go to the capital. Very easy. If I wanted to leave the orphanage, nobody could stop me from doing so. Well, okay. I trust you. That's more like it. <sighs> I'll go back and take a nap. I will trust you with the Christmas gift box. Come and check it. Seems the supply ship hasn't arrived. Normally, the supply ship arrives just before Christmas. There'll be supplies for the whole year, and Christmas gifts. Ah, the training's about to begin. I must go now. Don't forget to find a date for tomorrow's Christmas banquet. Do you really mean it? I'm sorry. What a spoiled kid. Never learned to say I'm sorry, have you? I don't think you can ever go to the capital for the rest of your lives. Anton, forget it. These people are dummies. Go now, Mr. Herzog awaits. Why are there only two of you? Where is Z? Director Herzog, Zed isn't feeling well. Huh? But yesterday he was just fine. Has something gone wrong with his dosage? 
Don't worry, he's going to be just fine. Look, we've made this Christmas card for you. My little Renato, aren't you the most heartwarming flower in this frozen land? All right, here is the training gear for today. Don't move a muscle until I give my orders. Anton, it's your turn. What a shame. So much time for such a simple test. Out of the way! Send him back. Renata, are you all right? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Ah, oh, good to hear. You are all my most precious treasures. So be careful. All right? What happened to Anton just then? Oh. Anton? Such great power. Surely it can only be a gift from the gods. Dr. Herzog, I'm sure you know who sent me here. If you are not willing to share with us the results of your research, we will halt all funding to your orphanage with immediate effect. So, the day has finally come. My warmest welcome, Commissioner Bondura. Commissioner, every year, the supply ship brings us food, equipment, and fuel for the entire year. And chocolate for the kids. And my vodka, of course. It is only you this year. So I guess you must be carrying a whole year's worth of supplies for Black Swan Bay in your magic pocket. Don't worry, Doctor. The supplies are on the ship. But this winter is especially rigid, and our icebreaker's progress is slow. 
That's why I called in a chopper to get the essential supplies to you. Christmas gifts for the kids and vodka for you. I was given explicit orders to do so. How very touching. But did they really just send a young lad such as you here? This is highly unusual. Well, since you've figured it out, I'll be direct. There are changes taking place at headquarters. My superior is responsible for this harbor, but no one will tell him what the purpose of this place is. That's why I was sent here. My superior is convinced that this mysterious harbor, which costs a huge amount of money each year, must serve an incredible purpose. <laughs> oh. Oh, people in the Secret Service always overthink things and worry too much, Commissioner Bondarev. The assumption you make is totally unfounded. There is no unspeakable project being conducted here. My work in here is to build the largest genome bank in the world. Look at this place. A natural and totally self-sufficient cold repository. These samples can last hundreds of thousands of years without a power supply. Oh, a genome bank, huh? Ha! <laughs> Who are these kids, then? I took into my care these orphans with genetic defects while I was traveling around the country collecting gene samples. They are both my research subjects and my children. Please, allow me to finish their training first. We can have a good chat after that. All right. That's all for today. And don't forget to find a date for the Christmas banquet later. Thank you, Doctor. I've already found a date. Let me guess. Hmm. It's Z, isn't it? Go prepare the Christmas banquet. I have something important to discuss with the Commissioner. By the way, you were excellent during the training today. Here is your prize. Chocolate straight from the capital. Like it? It was supposed to be a Christmas gift, so don't tell anyone else. What do you think it's like on the other side of the ocean? The people on the other side of the ocean are probably wondering the same thing. Do you remember when you first saw it? You said that you wanted to be just like it, to be able to swim freely in the ocean. If that day ever comes, I hope that I'll be standing right next to you. I'm very happy to have you by my side. Right. Let's go back.
There is no need to rush. Everybody will get one. All you have to do now is simply help with the preparations for the Christmas banquet. Slow down, please. My wound. <laughs> Hi, Vera. <laughs> wow! Look! Wow. <laughs> They're so, so bright! bright. My dear children, today is Christmas Day, a very important occasion here in Black Swan Bay. After today's training, I have decided that the lucky person going to the capital this year is... Anton! Ha! <laughs> That's great! Anton! I knew you'd win! Z was never a match for you! As for the rest of you, cheer up. Commissioner Bondarev has already confirmed to me that chocolate will now become a part of our long-term supplies. And when he goes back, he will convince the authorities to grant us more quotas. This is a time to rejoice! Let's celebrate this wonderful night! Where's Z? Is he too scared to come? <laughs> what a coward. <laughs> I will make mincemeat to you. Let's go, Anton. I need to give you a full and thorough examination. I can only send you off to the capital once I am fully satisfied with the state of your health. Yes, Doctor. I really didn't expect that it would be Anton who ends up going to the capital. I thought it would be you. Looks like you'll have to wait another year. Oh, my little Renata. 
Have I ever told you that fable? It's a known fact that some wolves disguise themselves in sheep's clothing. First, they gain the herd's trust. They then use all kinds of excuses to take a sheep away. And this way, one by one, they manage to devour the entire herd. You mean Director Herzog is a bad man? But... What do you think? I better stop here. I suppose this is not a good story to tell on Christmas Eve. I was planning on giving you your Christmas gift tonight, but I don't think it's a good idea to unwrap it in anyone else's presence. I'm gonna go get some sleep. At the end of the millennium, Satan shall be released from his prison. Nations shall then fall in total disarray. Gog and Magog shall be summoned to wars, where their numbers are as sands by the sea. Come with me. I want to show you something you'll find very interesting. Consider this my Christmas gift to you. Do not refuse or question me. I don't have to explain myself, and I will not accept a refusal from you.
Please enjoy the lovely performance. It was arranged especially for you. Behold, the downfall of a god. that had gone renegade, even the supreme Nidhogg could not escape his cruel fate. This marked the end of the dragon's reign. Humans became rulers of the world, and their vengeance quickly spread to the four overlords and the dragon survivors. The latter were forced into hiding or fell into a deep slumber. There, they awaited the summoning of a new king. But what people don't know is that while dragon blood in high concentrations is indeed lethal, when it is diluted, it becomes the best catalyst for species evolution. inside the petri dishes are the result of your animal experiments, yes? Yes. Just look at them. Polar bears that have grown charge carrying bone spurs. Snakes that have developed dragonfly wings. If only we could apply this miracle to the human body. Do you mean to tell me those children? Of course. Orphans. The best experiment subjects one could hope for. And witness firsthand the power of the hybrids. Shoot him, please, Commissioner. Anton has the ability to increase air viscosity and turn air into gel form around him. The physical principle behind such power is currently unknown to us, but you have already witnessed its stunning efficacy. Anton is even capable of canceling out the kinetic energy of high-speed bullets. Well, that means that 
we could have a high... Sure. But the current experimentation phase still has a major flaw. Test subjects have a life expectancy of no more than 20 years. So each year, I put the defective subjects to rest in advance, with the excuse of school admission in the capital. Take this poor, unfortunate child, for example. The dragon blood is literally ripping his body apart. If allowed to, he will become a terrifying monster in less than three days. So, would you please end his misery, for his own sake, Commissioner? Doctor, you have shared with me your most important secret, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You have also attracted the attention of an institution called Castle College. I came here to figure out the secret purpose of this place before they did. We must immediately relocate the project and abandon Black Swan Bay. Black Swan Bay has always been, and still is, Perfect hideout for us to give it up and leave would be a great pity indeed. Your secret will not stay a secret much longer. If word of the Elder Dragon gets out, the entire fruit of your research will be taken away from you. Well then, go ahead. Go ahead and blow Black Swan Bay to smithereens. We will be commanding one of the greatest powers imaginable. Individuals with such power are true kings. And in my experience, kings do not share sovereignty with anyone else. But what will happen to those kids? You seem to have devoted so much attention to them. Granted, these roses may seem precious in the Arctic Circle. But I assure you that the place we are heading for is nothing short of an ever-blooming garden. Mr. Bondarev, let Black Swan Bay vanish from the map once and for all.
White Store. This is White Store. Approaching target destination. Area lockdown. Repeat. Area lockdown. Over. Swan death. Mission started. Over.
Live. You have to live. I'm very happy to have you by my side. If that day ever comes, I hope that I'll be standing wow. right next to you. <laughs> so, so slow down, please. Wow. I'm moving. It's so The cleanup ops are complete. Load the Elder Dragon onto the ship. My little Renata. I said that I have a gift for you. I promise you, I will take you with me. Always, no matter where I go. We will not abandon, nor betray each other. Until death do us part. Step by step 